ages. The locket's been passed through our family. Uh, physics are hard. Oh! Wait. Just a moment. If matter thus draws matter, it must be in proportion of its quantity. Therefore, the apple draws the earth as well as the earth draws the apple. Gravity! I'm sure you know that your great-grandmother, 10th removed Prudence Pocket, was one of the founders of Littleton? Of course. All will be equal here. What you didn't know was that she was a locket bearer too. Hello? Watson, can you hear me? Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. When I was a young woman, the locket chose me to be its next bearer. Ah, oh, Houston, the hatch door won't open. Like the locket holders before me, I wanted to show that the littlest person can make the biggest difference. One pocket-sized step for me, one giant leap for mankind. That's when I met Grizel. Hello, Rumi. Where have you been? Just a work trip. Nothing interesting. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Good night! Huh? But Grizel Grande ended my mission to make a difference. Grizel Grande? That lady from Galleria Grande? Gwen's grandma? Exactly. Pocket time! <gasps> the power! Grizel and I had been friends, but when she realized the power and control that came with being able to shrink anything and anyone, she grew obsessed. How much do you want for the locket? I'll give you anything for it! It's not for sale. Then I'll take it! Oh, despite my efforts, I couldn't repair the locket. Mind blown. How come I never knew? After seeing how obsessed Grizel became, I realized how dangerous the power of the pocket locket could be in the wrong hands. That's why it's important to keep the locket a secret. Oops. I kind of told Shawnee and Lila. I think your friends can be trusted, but we must keep the word from spreading. What about Mom and Dad? Well, the locket broke before your father was born. And now, well, he can be a bit of a worrywart. Maybe best your parents don't know so they don't get worked up. No need for them to fret, since I won't be using the locket much at my age. Though, while I'm in town this week, we could use it. We? But all those big things the Locket Pocket is supposed to do sounded like a grown-ups only deal. True, the Locket has always been held by adults, but I'm still the Locket Bearer, and you can be my, uh, accomplice. Ready to shrink? Together? You can do that? The Locket Bearer can shrink another as long as we're touching. You're small enough to begin with, so it'll be easy. Bigger things are a different story. Too much power at once. Oh, well, I don't even want to think about it. Pocket time! Yeah! <laughs> I almost forgot how wonderful it is! Come along, Polly! Pimpon! I don't know, Nicholas. Polly said... You saw her go lopsided in the library? She needs us. Someone out there has to know something about shrinking or the locket. Please, Shawnee, help me help Polly. For Polly! <gasps> I think I got something! I know they're out there, man! Tiny folks trying to get their itty bitty hands on my stuff. <sighs> or my pancakes just talking to me. With my shrink o -matic, all your problems will seem so much smaller! <laughs> Is that Grizel Grande doing an unboxing video? But watch! 
This is a box I got from Littleton City Hall's rummage sale. Supposed to be filled with the architectural models. Ha! We got benches, fencing, trees, and... A bitty book. Ha! Must be for the library model. There! You see it? Um... Nope. I can barely make it out. But I think it says Prudence. Like Polly's ancestor, Prudence Pocket? We have to tell Polly! We can't! Not until we know it's for real. So what's the plan? This is the best day of my life! Are you sure about this? Yeah, he doesn't look anything like himself. It's way better. Not you, him! You're really gonna just knock on Grizel's door? No. I'll ring the doorbell. <laughs> We're gonna get so many TV channels with this. Do you think there's a rat channel for Galushki? How did you get in here? Galushki cracked the door code. <laughs> anyway, it's not for TV. Once I have the locket, this will allow me to shrink Little Tin in one fell swoop. Fail soup? Blech. No thanks. Sounds gross. Get that rat out of here before its fur messes with my machine! Gigi! Delivery for you! <coughs> oh! You the Paloxium guy? Yeah, uh, yes, da. I have the item for the exchange. Well, don't just stand there letting the air conditioning out. You have the book? What do you want with this crummy old book, anyway? <laughs> I'm just the collector. Surely you can understand what it's like to have an inexplicable compulsion to collect something? Got me pegged. Here. Now hand me my paloxium. <laughs> Get back here, Galushki! <laughs> I told you to keep that rodent away. Well, I must go. Bye! Ah, I smell you too close. <gasps> Pure paloxium. The key to making my freeze ray. Wait a sec. What's this? Mm. It's baloney, Gigi. What? Did you ask Nicholas to bring you tuna? Nicholas? You mean Pocket's friend? Yeah, you should know. You're the one trading sandwiches with him. Wait! What? Uh-oh! Stand by for Newton's law in action! Ah! Hey, gal pals! Genie! Okay, come up beside us and track our descent. Intense! Genie, let's land in the park. Coming right up. So, Genie, you're okay with dogs running around in the park? Sure. I love a puppy snuggling against my digital interface. Genie's fine now. Great idea to change out the personality chip, Shawnee. Mm. Oh, yeah. Go big! Glad to be back on the ground and safe! Ah! <gasps> My project! Uh, sorry, Shawnee, but there's always next year. Wait! Shawnee put in a lot of hard work on this year's project. She deserves a chance to win that science fair. How? It's probably almost over. It'll be tricky, but if we all work together, we might pull it off. What's the plan? You and I stay here and fix the rocket. Lila, you go to the science fair and stall the judges. Good plan. I'll have those judges eating out of my hand. Ooh. That rabbit isn't doing anything. <sighs> We're done here. Wait! She, uh, only responds to singing. 
Bonita's been practicing her maze run all the live long day. <laughs> That's your cue, Bonita. Dad, wait! I mean, she only responds to rapping. Bonita, ya OG bunny, ya jams don't stop. Ya floppy ear girl, put the hop and hip hop, so start a hopping, a hoppy hop a hopping, a hippity hop a hop. <sighs> if that rabbit doesn't run from that, she'll never budge. Wow, Shawnee, you're a rocket genius! Thanks. Flying the rocket actually let me make a more aerodynamic design for this one. And I added a new feature for you. What is it? I'll tell you on the way. Right now, we've got to get to the gym before the science fair ends. Wait! I know what was wrong! Now she's ready to go! Gotta run in style! All right, that's it. This is a total waste of time. Oh, Polly. <sighs> we were just enjoying Lila's project, but would love to switch gears and see that fantastic pea project of yours. Actually, Mrs. Vasquez, I don't have a project. Yes, she does. It's this rocket. I built it and Polly installed Neil. Ready for takeoff, Neil? All set, Shawnee. Three, two, one, see ya! Okay, Neil, let's see your two and a half gainer with a backflip topped off with a slam dunk. Sure thing, Polly. Recon report. Two people lurking in the northwest corner of the gymnasium, and they are emitting an odor of rotten fish sticks combined with dirty sweat socks. Hey, I resent that! We're not lurking. Whoa. Nicholas and I have always been into skateboarding, and we're both super competitive. But I had to learn the hard way that cheaters never prosper. Hmm, what could I add to my skateboard to make it go faster? <gasps> a super speed booster! Now I'm bound to be the fastest skater in Littleton! Amazing! Time to take it to the park and show off my mega speed! <sighs> hey, Nicholas. Nice jump. Hey, Polly. How's it going? I'm here to challenge you to a skateboard race. From one end of the park to the other, loser buys lunch. Oh, come on, Polly. You know that you will never beat me. But a free lunch sounds good. I'm it. Three, two, one. You are much faster than usual. How is that possible? Ouch! Are you all right? I think so. My skateboard just suddenly stopped. Your wheels have worn right down. And what is this button here for? Polly Pocket, did you build some kind of gadget and try to cheat? Um, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be faster than you. Well, it wouldn't have been a real victory if you'd won by cheating. It was probably a good thing the gadget broke down before then. Next time, I'll focus on enjoying the race, and not the win. Yeah, it's a shame I couldn't give it a go. It looked fun. <laughs> but hey, take these spare wheels so you can carry on skating. Thank you, Nicholas. Shall we finish up, since we are almost at the <laughs> end? Ready? Let's go! <sighs> important to always be honest. Cheating will never lead you to win, and victory only feels good if it's fairly deserved. We all planned to visit the awesome new ice rink for its grand opening. Unfortunately, it didn't go to plan. 
I'm so excited for the grand opening of the ice rink. Yeah! I read that it's state-of-the-art and looks super stylish. I bought a brand new pair of skates. I can't wait to practice my pirouettes on ice. Woohoo! Looks like the tickets are about to go on sale. Quickly, everyone. Let's snap them up before they're all gone. Got one. Me too. Oh, no. They're all sold out. You'll both just have to do a pirouette for me. It won't be any fun without the three of us together. Hmm. I have an idea, guys. left Shawnee behind, because we knew we would only have fun if we stayed as a group. The best memories are the ones you share with all your true friends together. <laughs> hey everyone, <laughs> it's Polly, and welcome to another Passport Adventures vlog. Today, we're going to... <laughs> outer space! See? We're going to Saturn. <laughs> this is totally <gasps> going to be an out-of-this-world adventure. Let's go! Tiny Power! Tiny Travel! Oh, wow. <laughs> Saturn is stunning! <gasps> Space Rover! <gasps> I call Pink again! <laughs> so cool! <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Let's find the Glittertron concert! This way! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> What's that oh. ahead? <laughs> wow, a real alien! <sighs> I'm never gonna make it in time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, I'm Polly. This is Lila and Shawnee. Can we help in any way? Oh, yes, please. I'm Aliana, and I'm performing at the Glittertron concert tonight. My ship has run out of fuel. Could you give me a lift? Of course we can. <laughs> Hop on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> without you. <laughs> Go! <laughs> 
Enjoy the concert! Have, Have fun. fun! You'll, You'll do, do great! great. <laughs> Told you we'd have an out of this world adventure! Totally galactic chic! <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible! <gasps> it's almost dinner time back in Littleton! I think that's our cue to. Tiny Travel Home! We'll remember this night forever! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> hey everyone! Polly here, and welcome back to my vlog! We finally figured out how to travel into the map! <laughs> so, guess what the plan is today? To explore the next location on the map! Tiny power! Right! What's our destination? This... juice box? <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, Tiny travel! travel! Wow! We're in a tropical rainforest! So cool! Let's explore! And look! We each get a oh. scooter! I call pink! <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Yay! <gasps> What's that over there? <gasps> this must be the juice box on the map! It's a tropical clubhouse with a tiki hut! And really good music! Check out that beat! <laughs> Looks like the perfect spot to hang out and chill! How are we going to cross huh? this river to reach it, though? The water looks too deep for us to cross by foot or on our scooters. Huh? Let's walk along the bank to find a spot where the river is shallower. Look at these pretty stones. <gasps> Maybe they mark a shallow passage to cross? Hmm. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 Weird! <gasps> it actually reminds oh. me of something. <gasps> oh. Oh. This is amazing! <laughs> I have to record this for my vlog! <laughs> <laughs> These sound exactly like the music coming from the juice box Tiki Hut. Interesting. Let's try to match the music coming from the juice box. <laughs> What's that? I think we just composed ourselves the most stylish ride to cross the river. Woohoo! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> nice rhythm, Polly. <gasps> of course! Grandma's been here! <laughs> <laughs> Music, magical gemstones, and my BFF. We'll see you next week for another Passport Adventure. We had to stay in the classroom, but she didn't say anything about going pocket sized and into the pencil case. Tiny power! Yeah. Yeah. All right! Whoa! Chillaxicious! Best recess ever! Ah, uh, the 
no fuss like. It really is the best life. Polly, did you turn the stereo on? I think I hear a bass beat. <gasps> Footsteps! Miss Fuss! Wait here. What? Where could I have left them? Go big! <laughs> No need to worry. I'll find somewhere to grow you. Is she not even gonna notice? Where are Shawnee, Lila, and Nicholas? Uh, they had to leave. Students can't just leave during detention. That's why I asked the librarian to keep an eye on the door. And she did. Uh, she's the one who took them. She said they had to go to compete in a speed reading competition. If you're making this up, Miss Pocket, I will have to call your parents for a third time. A third time? Pfft. It's like you're not even trying. My record's six. And I need to go to the water fountain. Sit down. It's time for science presentation, so I need complete silence. First up is, um... Uh... Andre Anderson. <sighs> Always gotta be first. <sighs> Smell that? Smells like I'm about to get your bucket. That comment doesn't even make sense. Says you! Hang tight, I have a... Miss Pocket! <gasps> you find this more interesting than science, do you? <laughs> well, it won't be able to distract you in the drawer. But my friend... Uh... Pencils are in there. 